Hello, this is Paolo Willy from Wild Design Studio. Today we are going to look at product visualization using Rhinoceros and KeyShot and then Photoshop. So quickly let's move on to look at how actually my students ask me how I'm able to wrap labels around a product in rhinoceros but rhinoceros you can do that in rhinoceros but i use key shot so today for that benefits i want to do a tutorial on how i combine rhinoceros products how i combine rhinoceros with key shot for product visualization wrapping labels around a square or round or cylindrical objects so let's get into photoshop i took the nutri snack package and then measured it i took a snapshot of the sides various sides of these nutri snacks so as you can see this is the the lead and so i have i brought them into photoshop and then cropped them and you have to make sure that the size after measuring the size of the nutri snack package, it measures 15 centimeters by 4.5 centimeters. And then the top of it also measures 7 centimeters by 15 centimeters. So uh, you have to make sure that in Photoshop, you crop it and make sure that you have that measurement. So if you are done then you save it to your pc so i have it in my folder here and so we move on to rhinoceros so on the rhinoceros screen you can see that i have some a box on the surface here uh this box is scaled to or is drawn to the same height or measurement of the nutri snack box what i did is you see the square of the grid it measures one centimeter square so 15 of it should give you the 15 centimeters of the box and then the height so what i do let me demonstrate for you to see so you go to box then you click so you count one up to 15 15 boxes this is 15 boxes and then you stretch it to about another seven boxes or seven counts so from here which is one two three four five six seven and so you have 15 by seven and then you click and then now it to specify it to ask you rhinoceros will ask you to specify the height and if i should change the view to front you will see that the the square here is four so you measure you count one two three four and then five because i said the height is 4.5 centimeters you click and then the box appears so what i did is I select the box and then you go to this icon here it says explode you click on it and then it explodes these uh, boxes into different faces so now they all have different different surfaces as you can see so that is how I got my box this box here I'm going to delete this And then I've saved it onto then you save it onto your PC. So let's quickly go into KeyShot. Okay, so in KeyShot, I have to import my Rhino uh, file. So I'm going to drag and drop to import. And then you say import. It will take some minutes. 
depending on your the fastness of your machine my machine is operating slowly because of my the screen record but we will get there okay so our box is exported here so let me add a base color which is yellow the reason why i'm using yellow is that the package has a yellow color and so i don't want any other different color to show underneath so i want to use a yellow color quickly what you do next is to right click any face of this box and then you say unlink material so that's what i'm doing now you right click and say unlink material meaning you are separating these faces so that when you are applying the labels it does not run or other faces will not be sharing the uh, the label with it i'll do same to this face and link material and then the last face which is this one forgive me because it's slowing down just because uh, I'm recording it so but we'll finish we'll get there okay so then to the next step you double click on the face you want to apply the label so I'll double click on this and then this box open here you go to label <coughs> then you click on this icon it says add label into bracket texture you click on it and this is the side which is the 15 centimeters by 4.5 in height so i labeled it uh, as, as a jpeg file actually key shots <coughs> key shots accept jpeg or png file so you can save it in any of these file versions you can double click it <coughs> and then you can see that because they have the label and the box have the same measurement it fits correctly if you don't have the same measurement you will have to hold this uh, anchor points and be dragging to fit your model let me quickly go to the top double click on the top if you accept this side you click on this green icon here i'm using keyshot 9 pro so it shows this handle for you to accept so if you accept then you double click the top go to label click add label and i label this top here as front you double click when you double click you can see that it's moving in the y direction so what you do is you bring the cursor here and then you scroll when you scroll you'll get to the angle it's not in 180 degrees so we change it from 180 degrees by typing 90 degrees click or enter you press enter and the rotation change into an angle of 90 degrees so so as you can see now we have it in 90 degrees you accept by clicking on the green icon you can see that the yellow is appearing but we'll fix all those things soon then we go to the front or this face double click on it label so just follow my steps so that we apply it and this face i name it lead it's going to be a little smaller because i want to use that to show you something so if it happens this way what you need to do is to hold the anchor points and then you drag 
to fix if your machine is slowing down like mine they have to take your time and dragging okay to also make it easier for you what you can do is you go to the camera you go to camera and then you select the right the right camera and so it shows the, the, the view so what you need to, is to hold the handles and you drag forgive me my machine is slowing down okay i made it overlap it a little so that uh, it covers the edge you accept then we go to the perspective view again and rotate it to see what we have done so far okay like i said we will come to fix as you can see the yellowish edges are showing but we'll fix it soon let's add the other faces you double click on the face add label and it's also the side so you select the side and we accept after accepting now i'll do the last one i'll forget about the the place touching the ground and so You double click on this face let me say add label double click let me rotate it and so we can still change the camera view if stretching becomes a problem but let me try because my machine is freezing so and then I'll stretch to this side as well again okay then we click on this green icon okay now this is the product visualization of this object so let's fix the edges that are showing let's fix it so what you do again is you want to cover up these yellow edges or lines that are showing you double click on the objects you go to labels then you scroll and then you go to move texture you select that object it brings back it brings back the handle for you to pull so as you can see those edges have been filled let me rotate it and do the other side
Wow. Um, <laughs> wow. Don't worry, it's working. My machine is freezing, but the tutorial has to be done. okay right as you can see i've pulled it to fit the model so that we don't have those yellow edges showing good so this is how i or we add labels to products or uh, this is how i use key shots to portray product visualization. Most manufacturers and advertisers don't have the time, or marketers don't have the time to go to their warehouses and be taking photographs of their images. So what they do is to, for them to employ a product designer. And we use uh, 3D softwares to generate the concepts into a printable, or something like this, which they can use for their adverts. So what you see today is product visualization. So this is how the concept is generated in 3D. And so on the key shot screen, you can go to the scene, you will see, and then you select these objects. What you can do to this object is that you can Duplicate it. So when you right click the image, you see duplicate. And a second one is generated. So you can push it from it to one side, or you can pull it up. And so since this one is selected, I can duplicate it again, but let me duplicate this one again. I'm okay with that. So I right click and say duplicate again. And then I pull it up. Yeah. This is product visualization. And so most manufacturers and marketers don't have time to be taking photographs of their products. So what they do is to hire industrial designers like us or product designers like us to make products, their products come alive using 3D softwares like this. And so, with this form, you can rotate it and then see that the object is in form, as you can see. Yeah. So this is how we wrap up labels to square objects. I'll do a tutorial on cylindrical objects and probably bottles and other things. Um, on how it, uh, products are being wrapped up. So when you're done, Kishore gives you the ability to add environment mapping to it so that uh, you'll be able to add some reflections and lighting on your objects. When you are picking or you're taking a snapshot of your uh, images, Please try and take the, the images during the daytime so that you have enough lights or brightness. 
I took this photograph with my camera in my room at night so you can see that it looks somehow dull but actually today we are not going to do lighting I'm only trying to teach my my followers how I wrap up actually is a question that a student asked me and so you can add environment to this model either placing it here or drag and drop it and it will have the effects that you want and you can rotate the environment to suit your product i can change the environment as well mapping and if you're okay with the environment mapping you leave it like that which of the environments that is okay that will have the reflection that you want on your product then if you accept it and then you're okay so if you want to take off the background from it you click on color and then it goes off and so you can have any of the products or any of the environments selected and you can do a lot of things to so that it looks real and so in this case thanks for watching and i'll see you again next week for another tutorial in rhinoceros basic bye